Hey, my name's Katie and welcome to my channel. I feed my family of five on a very low budget every week and share a lot of our meals in grocery hauls. This week, I will be making seven different crock pot meals that will be our lunch and dinner for the entire week. We will be eating these meals for dinner, then have the leftovers for lunch the next day. My goal is to spend under $50, which has been getting harder and harder with inflation. I have been finding the cheapest options at a local grocery market and Aldi's, which is where I'm shopping this week. Sometimes it is best to shop at multiple stores to find the best deals. In order to save money with the rising grocery prices, I've had to get more creative with recipes. I've been replacing some ingredients with less expensive options. This week, the green bell peppers were less expensive than the multicolored peppers. So in our recipes this week, I will be replacing the red bell peppers with some green bell peppers to save a little bit of money. Aldi was also out of large carrots this week, so I will be using baby carrots as a replacement instead. It is important that the meals I feed my family are not only on budget, but are also healthy and nutritious. All the meals I will be making this week will be plant-based, but also packed with plenty of protein. Beans, lentils, and quinoa are all excellent sources of cheap plant-based proteins. I will have links to all the recipes in the description box below, and I will also have timestamps so you can jump straight to any meal that you might want to see. So here is everything that I got for our meals this week. Everything in this area I got at Aldi's. I ended up getting almost everything at Aldi's. Honestly, I probably should have just gone to Aldi's and not anywhere else because I kind of wasted my time going to the market because these three things were the only things that I got there. Um, and then I had to run by Publix to get these lentils because nowhere else had lentils. And Aldi's had these items, so I probably could have just made my life easier and only gone to one store. But I spent, the lentils were $1.33 at Publix. These three items at Prime's were $3 and some change. And then I spent uh, $39.73 at Aldi's. Today I'm going to be making the slow cooker black bean soup. And for this recipe, I'm using one pound of the black beans that we got. I had them soak overnight. And then we also needed a pepper, onion, two jalapenos, four cloves of garlic, this salsa. And then these are all of the seasonings and spices that I already had. Salt, pepper, chili powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, cumin. And then we are replacing the veggie broth with four cups of water and bouillon cubes. Okay, now that we have everything cut up, we're just gonna add everything to the crock pot. The one pound of soaked black beans. Four cups of water. Four bouillon cubes. Our onion, whoops. Pepper. Jalapeno peppers and garlic. We're gonna do one cup of salsa. I'm just gonna kind of guess. Okay, I had to go take care of the baby. Uh, one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin.
half a teaspoon of paprika, approximately half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or just however spicy you want it, some pepper, and salt. And then after you stir this up real good, you're going to just put the lid on it and cook it on high for about six hours. And the black bean soup is all done. I just put some cilantro and I'm gonna crush up some of these tortilla chips. It'd be enough for uh, the four of us to eat for dinner tonight and have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. The Moroccan lentil and chickpea soup. This is all the ingredients that we are gonna need for this recipe. These spices are spices that I just already had on hand, so I did not have to buy them. And I'm going to be replacing the veggie broth with these little veggie bouillon cubes. And we're just going to be using half the bag of the lentils. The rest of the lentils we're going to save for later this week. I'm subbing the red pepper for this green pepper just because it was less expensive and I bought a pack of the green peppers. And then of course they didn't have a regular bag of carrots, so we're gonna use these um, little baby carrots. And everything goes in the crock pot except for the chickpeas and the cilantro go in at the end. So I've got everything cut up. Now we're just gonna throw it all into the crock pot. So we've got one and a half cups of green lentils, our onion, garlic, that was ginger. <laughs> this is garlic, three carrots, one bell pepper, one can of diced tomatoes, one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, three quarters of a teaspoon of cumin, three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little salt, a little pepper, It calls for four cups of veggie broth or chicken broth, and we're going to use these bouillon cubes plus four cups of water. One, two, three, four. And four cups of water. And then the recipe calls for another half a cup of water. And we're just going to stir all this and cover it and cook on low for six to eight hours. So this has been cooking on low for about seven hours and it's almost done. All I have to do is add some chickpeas and cilantro and let it finish heating up and then it'll be ready. And 
then here is the finished Moroccan lentil and chickpea soup. I just made us four bowls for tonight and then I had some meal prep containers that I just divided them up and we have enough for us all to eat for lunch tomorrow. Today I'm going to be making the coconut quinoa curry and there's several substitutions that I'm making for this recipe. I don't have all of the spices that it calls for, but I do have some curry powder. So we are just gonna use curry powder instead of like the turmeric and tamari sauce and stuff like that. I'm just gonna use curry powder and then red pepper flakes. Um, and then for the can of coconut milk, I'm just going to sub it with this, um, coconut milk it ends up being cheaper you get a lot more might not be as thick as a can of coconut milk but the taste it works fine especially when you're doing a curry Now we're just going to add all the ingredients to the crock pot. The sweet potato, broccoli, the onion, garlic, ginger, a quarter cup quinoa, a can of diced tomatoes, rinsed and drained chickpeas, one can, and then I'm going to do one and a half tablespoons of curry powder. and one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And then it calls for two cans of the coconut milk, but I'm going to use this coconut milk and just measure it in my diced tomato can. So I'll do two cans of this. And I'm just going to stir this up real good and cook this on high for just three to four hours. Today we're going to be making tortilla soup. And these are all the ingredients for today. It calls for red lentils, but we're just going to use these lentils that were left over from a previous recipe. These are the soaked black beans. Also from a previous recipe, it calls for a can of black beans, but we're just gonna use these. Salsa, some red beans, tomato sauce, corn. Instead of the vegetable broth, we're gonna use this water and the bouillon cubes, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, cumin, smoked paprika, and onion, jalapeno, and it calls for a red pepper, but we're just going to use this green pepper. Now we're just gonna add all the ingredients. The bell pepper, onion, jalapenos, black beans, kidney beans, 
tomato sauce. Corn. Some salsa. Three quarters of a cup of lentil. Three and a half cups of water. And then I will just cook this on high for four to six hours. And this tortilla soup is done. Um, we're just gonna put it in a bowl over some of these tortilla chips with some cilantro. Today I'm going to be making potato soup. I have about three pounds of potatoes, um, an onion, garlic, carrots, salt, pepper. The recipe calls for thyme, but I'm going to be using oregano because I don't have thyme. And instead of veggie broth, these bouillon cubes in water and some coconut milk. So now we're just going to add all the ingredients. I already put the potatoes in there and then we're going to add the onion and garlic, carrots, four cups of water, four bouillon cubes, oregano, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to put this on high for about four hours. The potatoes and carrots are cooked all the way. So I'm just going to mash these up a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk to make it a little bit creamier and sweeter. Today we're making lentil chili and this is everything we will need for this recipe just have the black beans and lentils in this bowl diced tomatoes tomato paste kidney beans um it calls for four cups of vegetable broth but we're doing the bouillon cubes and water these are all of the seasonings cayenne pepper garlic powder onion powder cumin paprika chili powder smoked paprika um, and salt and pepper, and then an onion and two cloves of garlic. So now we'll just add all the ingredients. Got the onions, garlic, black beans and lentils, kidney beans, the kidney beans were drained and rinsed. Diced tomatoes.
And then we're just gonna stir this up and cook it on low for eight hours, or you could cook it on high for four hours. And the chili is done. I just microwaved one of the potatoes that we got and I'm gonna eat the chili with the potato and a little bit of cilantro. Today we're making quinoa tacos. I've got black beans, quinoa, fire roasted diced tomatoes, taco seasoning, the one bouillon cube with one cup of water, corn, and then also the store didn't have enchilada sauce. So I'm gonna make my own with this tomato paste and these seasonings. And then with the mixture that this makes, it'll be like a taco filling and we're gonna put it on some of the fajita tortillas that we got. So I'm pretty excited I don't have to cut up anything this morning. Just gonna put in black beans. Corn. And then I'm gonna cook this on high for about four hours. So the quinoa taco mix is all done. Just put it on some of these fajita shells with some cilantro.